I've always wanted to go to this school. I hope they can help. I'm sorry, honey. I wish we could do more for you. It's just not in the budget. How are you guys? Good. Fine. Is that a cheerleading uniform? Mm-hmm. What school do you go to? Okay. That is enough. No more questions. Come on. Please, sir, take the next elevator. Hi. Come on in. Hi. How are you? Hi. Good. Good. Well, I have some great news. Turns out there was a financial aid sponsor who stepped in last second so your daughter could go to college. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Please, tell us who is the sponsor? Well, I think he may be here now. Let me get him for you. Sit tight. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're finally going to get to go. Huh. I'm so happy for you. Oh, I wonder who it is. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited. Well, guys, so here he is. Sponsor. You know, when I first saw your door, Reminded me of my girl. She was also, she was also a cheerleader. My baby girl died in an accident. And it's been so difficult. <laughs> she was gonna go to college too. And I had money put aside for that. And when she passed, I decided that I'd help another family instead. That is enough. No more questions. Please forgive me. Thank you. At times, all of us have formed certain opinions about others without really knowing their story. According to research, even the most intelligent and open-minded people make judgments about others. If we see an obese person, we might think that they're lazy. Or if we see a homeless person, we might think they're on drugs. If we see a person with tattoos, we might think they're a criminal. Or if we see a person that looks a certain way, we may get uncomfortable and want to avoid them. Many times, we're not even aware of the judgments that we're making because they happen subconsciously. It can affect our behavior, such as how far we stand from someone, whether we make eye contact, speak to them, or see them as a threat. But it's important to be aware of these judgments because in reality, they say more about who we are than who the other person is. That obese person may be one of the hardest workers out there. That homeless person may have never used a drug in their life. That person with tattoos may be one of the kindest people. And that person that we're trying to avoid may just be the biggest blessing of our life.